sound of wolf crying in the distance. I woke up scared and terrified. Dear Toastmasters, judges, deciding officer, and this chief. I was really scared. But and the fear has not been so much that I had the orders to go into the toilet. <laughs> oh, and as I went out of the house, the night was dead silent. And it sent the chills throughout my spines. And I was very scared. So, like any brave man will do under such circumstances, I decided to take a leak in the bushes near the town. <laughs> so, I jumped off the veranda. A fat little mouse came up to me running. And yes, he reached up to me. He said, hi. I'm Mousey Mousey. Nice to meet you. Who are you? A talking mouse? Mama! I'm scared. And hearing me scream, the mouse screamed, Papa, and ran away. Ooh. I was so terrified. Suddenly, in the distance, I could see the beam light and the echo of the running water was clear. And, dear Toastmasters, after that, I decided to, to go again because I just could not control it. So I moved forward. And as I moved forward, I could hear the sound, a strange sound saying, Be Then with all my mind, I jumped to the bushes. And as I rushed to the bushes, to the bushes, there, in the tap, I could see a woman bathing. Then I remembered my grandma's story about how witches bathed in the night in the villages. I was scared at the end. Not just scared, super scared. Then I wanted to run forward, but the witch was there. Backward? My strange sound. So what to do? So as I was trying to turn back a bit, the witch saw me. And she stood up. And as she stood up, she was short and very fat. <laughs> her long white hairs were covering her white, snow white curly face. And as she came up to me, see the bangles in her leg. I was out of my senses. And as I wanted to run back, she grabbed me from behind and lifted me up. I was so scared that I waited my pants. And I said, please, please leave me. I'm not delicious. I'm yucky. I no meat. I'm just good looking. Why would you want me? I was strolling. I could see the same woman. She was cooking something. She was probably preparing something to boil me up. <laughs> she was going to eat me alive. I was so scared that I called up in the bed and I was shaking myself. And she reached out to me. She was scaring my hair and my face. <laughs> I was in the other world. And after a while, I passed out again. <laughs> And I woke up after a few days. And when I woke up, it was my grandma's room. I could see the dried corn she used to feed me every day. I could see the pictures of Lord Shiva who used to worship every day. And I could see the stove where she cooked me those boiled potatoes. Oh my, my. <laughs> Dear Toastmasters, to these days, still, that memories haunt me deep down. That memories of what happened to me in that night. And that memories where I thought that my grandmother was a witch. Oh, <laughs>